Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to install PyDev, which is a nice little plugin that you can use with Eclipse to develop Python programs. So what I have right here is my Eclipse integrated development environment. And um, the first thing we need to do to install PyDev is just go up to here to help and then Eclipse Marketplace. This just takes a moment and we're going to perform a little quick search here in the find box and I'll type in PyDev and then hit the search button. So you'll see here is the PyDev Python IDE for Eclipse and so we just hit the install button right here. We've got a couple choices here. We have PyDev for Eclipse then we have this extra PyDev Myelin integration I really just want basic support for Python, so I'll just do PyDev for Eclipse, and then I'll hit Next. Okay, here's the license agreement. Quickly read through all of this, and then accept the license terms, and then hit Finish. This will just take a minute or two for it to install, you know, depending on how fast your uh, network connection is. And once it's, in finished, once it's finished installing, you're going to have to restart uh, Eclipse. Now, uh, this popped up right here. Do we trust these certificates? Go ahead and check this and say OK. Now, we need to restart Eclipse for the changes to take effect. Go ahead and say yes. And now I'm going to go to File, New, and you'll see that it says here, No Applicable Items. You may or may not have this kind of behavior, but in case you do, all you need to do is go to the Default Perspective. Uh, remember, if Perspective is just the collection of windows that's visible in your Eclipse environment, and it also controls what kind of projects you have access to. So it looks like I don't have any Perspectives opened. Uh, so I can just go to my window here and say Open Perspective, and then other. For right now, I'll just say, uh, oh, here we go. Here's my PyDev perspective. I can make that the open one. And now here we have our PyDev package explorer. Now there's other windows too to choose from. You'll see here that I can go to window, show view, and we have all these other windows to choose from here. Okay, so if I want to open up the console to see output from my programs, I can do that. So I'm going to just create a real quick Python program. Just go up to File, New, and I'll create a PyDev project. Okay, so I'll just call this First Python Project. I'm going to click on this link right here to configure the interpreter that I have. And I just so happen to have Python 2.7 installed directly on my C drive, so it looks like it's already there. But if for some reason this is blank here, you can always go to New and uh, point to it. Okay, so I can just hit Cancel here. I'm going to stick with all the defaults on this page here and just hit Finish. So here is my project, and this will automatically show up in here. I can actually collapse this. Inside of my project, I'd like to create a Python class. So I can right click on here and I'll say new and I'll say PyDev module. I'm going to call this package com.fireboxtraining and I'm going to call the name of my class. I'll make this the person class and I'll hit finish. Now there's all these other templates in there too. You can play around with that to you know, see uh, what the templates contain. Um, this is just uh, a request for you to donate. Uh, I'm going to just X out of here for right now. And here we have our skeleton code. So I'm just going to create a new class called person. It's a subclass of object. And I have a constructor. So you'll see here that the IDE here automatically auto completes when I'm, you know, creating functions in here. So if I want my constructor to take a first name and a last name, I 
I can do that and I have default values of empty strings. Self simply refers to the object itself that's getting instantiated, so self dot first name equals first name. Okay, so this has to do with the attribute of the object itself. This is the local variable that's getting passed in right here. Okay, I'll do one more thing here. I'm going to create a magic string function which returns a string representation of our person. So in here I'm going to say return self dot first name plus a literal space plus self dot last name. Now if I wanted to provide getters and setters I could but I'm just cre uh, you know, keeping this really simple right now. So if I wanted to now test this I could do that by instantiating a person object like this and even though it looks like there's three arguments really I'm going to be passing in two pieces of information because this first argument refers to the object itself that's being instantiated. And I'm going to now print out P and we're going to now run this. We'll do a Python run and there we have it. Now what if we were going to import this class into another file? Okay. Well if we were to perform the import it would automatically invoke this code right here. So the way we can um, eliminate that problem is that we can have an if statement in here. We can say if double underscore name double underscore equals double underscore main double underscore then we're going to execute these two lines of code. Okay, so let's use this in a separate file. Okay, so I'm going to create yet another file. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it uh, just for convenience sake in the same package. So I'll just right click on here and say new PyDev module. It's in the com.firebox training package and I'm just going to call this person test. I'm going to now import this. So there's a couple ways we can import. I can say import com.firebox training dot person. If I do it like this, then I'm going to have to instantiate it like this. P equals and fully qualified. I would have to say com.firebox.training.person. Uh, .person. That would just be too much typing. So there's a, another way that we can import this. We can say from this module, we're going to import the person class. And so now I don't have to fully qualify it. And let's go ahead and print it out. And let's run it. And you'll see that it's working just great. Well, I hope you got a lot out of this video tutorial. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.